Hello, this is Macintosh. We're just continuing the uh, treatise about leadership, but he wants to go off and play. So I'll let him go, and here we go. I'm just continuing about the topic of leadership, which I got the ideas from Think and Grow Rich, as I told you. Um, I think it's a good idea to buy this book. I actually have it by my bedside. I've got another copy, which I got uh, courtesy of uh, one of my companies, and it's you know, it just has so many valuable life lessons I can't tell you. So here we go. Um, my next thing is to talk about discipline. Now that is discipline for yourself. You do need to be self-disciplined. You do need to have a discipline of self to be a leader. If you just have scurrilous habits, other people look at you and say, you don't stand for anything. You are not a disciplined person. How can you possibly lead somebody else? And so if you feel like you're a leader, have an examination of that particular attribute and see whether you're disciplined. There are always things we need to improve, but there are certain core skills and core requirements upon which you build. Discipline is one of them. You do need to be disciplined. The other thing I'm very, very strong on is responsibility. You cannot, as a leader, di uh, divest responsibility when things go wrong to your team members. That is the behavior of a you know lower form of life you need to take responsibility for your own actions as well as the actions of your team because if they screw up it means that you did not actually instruct them properly you did not communicate your desires to them in the right way so take responsibility for that and aim to correct it so when you do things and when your team do things you need to take responsibility for the total picture. Trying to blame some other cog in the wheel is, you know, the attributes of somebody who is just going to be a follower or who's going to lose their team pretty quickly. So moving on. And then we have basically doing more than those around, than those around you are doing. A leader is able to sh do more. Um, and I'm not necessarily meaning more in the tasks you delegate but just put more effort and more energy into the enterprise, into the team, into building the team than those around them. The others are gone. They're not thinking of the business. You are basically, you know, continually talking to other people, strategizing, networking. You're putting out more than the people in your team. It is terribly important. Um, and then I'll move on to sympathy. Uh, sympathy has kind of got one of those bad raps recently. But I think it's important to have an element of sympathy. Without it, your humanity cannot come out. And really, we are all dealing with people. You find that it is better to deal with people with a touch of sympathy than the hard iron rod. So I would encourage you to have sympathy. And by sympathy, I mean you can understand. I don't mean you go into negative energies when people have negative energies. That is empathy. And sometimes you, you don't want to go there because it drags you along with it. But sympathy is the ability to, 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 to basically understand what the other person is feeling and therefore give them whatever leeway they need. Be sympathetic. Okay, bye. Subscribe to the newsletter below.